Hello and welcome to VGT 101 Video Game Terminology. I'm your host, Sensei Pong, and today we'll be listing 10 common gaming terms you may or may not know. But if you've trolled the net and played some games, you probably already know them. So maybe this list is kind of moot point, but whatever. It gives me a reason to do a list. And for this list, let me just state that these are common. Used across the board for different types of games, from shooter standards like Call of Duty to obscure classics like Landstalker. So here we go! Number 1. NPC, aka an acronym for non-playable character. This term is used pretty much with any game with characters in it that you have no control over, or are just there to interact with, or not maybe. I suppose it's dependent on the game, but it's a general term. This goes from the old man in the first Legend of Zelda who gives you the sword, your cousin Roman in Grand Theft Auto 4, and that really creepy King of the Cosmos thing from Katamari. Ugh. Man, I'd hate to dance with that under the pale moonlight. Number 2. Grinding. Now get your mind out of that gutter and get ready to play hardcore. This explains the mechanic situation or leveling system where a player of a game basically does matches, fights, or tasks over and over again and to gain stats, experience, loot, etc. It's uh, used commonly in RPGs where leveling up a character's experience points and abilities are necessary to progress. Kind of like finding a boss who may be too strong to take on, so you grind a bunch and do a bunch of fights and to get stronger so you can beat them. This can also pertain to shooter games where playing matches or games helps unlock experience, higher levels, and better weapons that suit your style of play. Number 3. Noob. Also spelled noob, noob, and noob. That's a shortened version of newbie. I've heard that there's a slight difference in meaning for certain spelling variations, since type chat is common amongst online games since, well, obviously not everybody in the world has TeamSpeak or a Skype option, and it's like basically speak directly via microphone. But for the most part, noob is an insult for calling somebody an experienced, new, or just lousy at playing a game. Noob, with the EWB spelling, has been claimed by a few gamers as a more teasing insult than derogatory. But it's an insult, and calling someone a noob is pretty much calling them worthless or stupid. While at times, noob with an EWB spelling is sometimes more of the lines of, Well, I think you suck at this game, but we still love you. Number 4. Wrecked. Yeah, spelled like that. It means what it sounds. It's basically a quick way of spelling the word wrecked in fast type chat circumstances. It normally means somebody or yourself had gotten beaten in the game so badly it was disastrous. I.e., I got wrecked last round. Or simply, wrecked. GG man. What? You mad bro? You mad? Or awful? Which is a nice little segue to... Number 5. GG. An acronym for good game. This, depending on the situation, can either be friendly chatter or, well, sarcastic. Take your pick. For better examples of sarcastic GGs, go check out the game Dota 2 or the Steam community for more information. I'm sure they'll help you out there. They have no sense of trolling. Trust me. I'm the sensei. Number 6. Lag. The slowing down of a game that occurs in a bad internet connection or a system being overworked. You may have heard the meme, hashtag, lag kills. Yeah. This is a problem I have while running most games while recording the footage on my old school laptop. Oh, well, the games normally run fine, but when I piggyback fraps or some other kind of screen capture, my computer lags to a snail's pace. <sighs> yeah, let's move on. Number 7. FPS. Frames per second. What? You thought I was going to say first person shooter? Sure, stands for that too, but it depends on the context. And this is my video, my channel. So shove off. Frames per second is at which anything that's a visual media, albeit film, animation, or a video game runs at. Old school non-digital television usually ran between 24 to 30, while some grommet at 20, and the majority of HD at 60 FPS. For some games where detail and realism is a necessity or expected quality of a mechanic, maintaining the 60 FPS standard for higher settings is considered a staple. Games such as Far Cry, Tomb Raider, or Uncharted are usually expected to run at 60 FPS on good machines. But it should be stated that some games don't need such smooth animation, since, well, it may actually just be an artistic need to run at a lower frame rate, giving a more retro-inspired look, or even just a simpler game. But if the game is broken or the frame rate drops because of bad or lazy programming that needs patching, frame rate drops can occur and the smoothness of how a game can run can be greatly hindered, i.e. WTF, mate! My frame rate dropped from 60 to 5 FPS while playing Batman's Ultimate Tetris. Utter bollocks! Number 8. 
Triple A, or also known as Triple A title. Basically any game that has a very large budget behind it. Anything from a major developer is usually considered Triple A, whereas some indie games and small developers may only need a few thousand dollars or even a couple thousand dollars to develop a game for commercial sale. A game created by a larger company may reach the multi-million spent in its development. It's also usually expected that the quality of the game is greater. With a AAA title, realistic character animation, or even just stunning visuals are common. Games like The Last of Us, Super Mario Galaxy, or Final Fantasy are considered AAA. A good example of how the term can be used can be, Konami is not a AAA developer anymore. Number 9. DLC. Another acronym, I know. Just get off it. People like catchy acronyms. It's fun and it makes life more digestible. DLC means downloadable content. This normally refers to in-game purchases that add to the originally released game, expansions, extra game modes, new playable characters, etc. DLC isn't really a good or bad thing, it really just depends on how it's handled. Some DLC is awesome, some of it is pointless, and some of it is worth a couple extra bucks while some are really just plain free. I suppose free mod packs created by fans can be considered DLC in an extent as well, but normally when a gamer is praising or frowning on the DLC of a game, it's usually the official DLC created by the developers themselves. A good example of how DLC can be used in conversation can be, Day 1 DLC is awesome! I love it! Hashtag triple A triple awesome triple incompetency. And number 10, a patch. A patch is a programming term where an extra piece of programming is added to the final product of a game or simply just a program to fix maybe a bug, a problem, or even just add material to the already existing content. This normally helps fix glitches, etc., but sometimes patches are added as free DLC that adds to the gameplay of a game. Maybe a new map to a shooter, added storyline, translation to a language, etc. But normally in common gaming discussions, when somebody refers to a patch, it's usually something that helps fix a possibly broken mechanic in a game. A good example when the term patch is used can be... Day one patches are awesome! It's not irresponsible by any business ethic! <laughs> Hashtag EA. Huh. I have a feeling that this list went from moderately informative to ranty. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I suppose I should check it check myself before I wreck myself because top 10 lists are bad for my health. Or, yeah, something like that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Because I'm bad for your health. I come real stuff. Dropping bombs on your mouth. Man, that song's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Black as crap.